Today I've got the top 10 reasons why you shouldn't move to Edmonton. Don't move to Edmonton if you like sunshine. After all, we only have 300 days of sunshine a year in Edmonton. Hey, if you like to stay inside all day, you might not like Edmonton because you shouldn't move here. There's too many festivals to go to. 50 festivals every year happen in Edmonton. Don't move to Edmonton if you like to keep your money in your pocket and not go shopping. We have not only West Edmonton Mall, the largest mall in the world, we also have a ton of different local businesses that you can support in all of your shopping. So if you don't want to spend any money, you probably don't want to move to Edmonton. So if you like a sunny, snowless Christmas, you definitely don't want to move to Edmonton. It gets pretty cold here and you're probably not going to like the fact that we have a ton of snow in the winter and there's nothing really we can do about it. Every year it happens, we get a ton of snow, it gets really cold, probably want to stay away from Edmonton. If you don't like friendly people, you probably shouldn't move to Edmonton. Edmonton is known to be one of the more friendlier cities here in Canada and if you just like to have people be mean to you and aloof and not talk to you, don't move to Edmonton. If you want to overspend on your housing, don't move to Edmonton. Edmonton has one of the most affordable housing markets in Canada. Another reason why you might not want to move to Edmonton is if you have kids, you might not want to move here. There's too many options for them to do. You wouldn't even know what to pick from the programs at the Edmonton Public Library to the playgrounds when they're open to spray parks when they're open. What, is there, what are our kids going to do? So you might not want to move to Edmonton. If you like getting lost in your own city, you might not want to move to Edmonton. Edmonton is a pretty small city that is pretty easy to navigate yourself around, especially when you've got Google Maps. It's pretty difficult to get lost and we have a grid system in terms of how our streets and avenues work. And then we have most of the city in the Northwest Quadrant, some in the Southwest. But if you want to get lost, this is not the city for you. If you want to spend more than an hour commuting to work one way, Edmonton isn't for you. Edmonton is pretty close to everything. Most spots are about 30 minutes on average away, depending on if you're living in the suburbs and surrounding cities or if you're right in Edmonton. As a rule of thumb, anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes is pretty easy to access most everything. So if you like long commutes and you love that time in your car, you're not going to want to move to Edmonton. If you don't like exploring, you probably don't want to move to Edmonton. Edmonton has so many different things that you can explore, from the ferry doors that people have put up around in the parks, all the way to different things that are, people are geocaching in around the city, to the river valley paths that kind of go in throughout our city. There's too many things to explore. So if you don't like exploring, I would move to Edmonton. If you're looking for a city that has absolutely no schools, and no universities, this is not the place for you to live. Edmonton has the University of Alberta, which is renowned uh, worldwide, and has a ton of schools with the Edmonton Public School System, the Edmonton Catholic School System. There's just so many varieties of schools that if you wanted a place where you just had nothing to deal with, and you didn't want to deal with the schools and all that, this is not the place for you. So honestly, in all seriousness, Edmonton is one of the best places to live. I try to be sarcastic, so if I didn't come across, because I truly love Edmonton. If you have any questions about what's in and around Edmonton or anything I mentioned, check the links down below to find those cool tips. And thanks so much for tuning in.